Hi everyone, it's Gina. Welcome back to my channel, The Artful Attic. I am so glad you're here. I have been having the best time making these super easy pockets. They are so easy and so fun to make that I thought I would invite you to join with me so that I can show you just how simple these are to make. Super beginner friendly. If you're an experienced crafter, you've probably already made these. Either way, they're a lot of fun and I hope you'll stay with me. You can do practically anything that you want with these. I'll show you how to make them in just a minute, but first I just kind of want to show you some variations, some of the things that I've done. You can make them out of plain paper, some of your pretty paper. You could put a little pocket on the front, a little tuck. Keep your decorations to the minimum because, you know, let the paper do the work, right? It's beautiful paper. And you might even choose not to do anything. You know, maybe just put a little bit of ink on the on the edges and let it go. That's what I've done with a lot of these. You can always go back and add a little focal point, um, like this one. And this one is actually made out of vellum. So it's a little extra crinkly. You can also decoupage. I took a napkin and decoupaged this and put a little ribbon around it and a little piece of ephemera that had come from one of my kits. And there you go, it's adorable. And if you want to keep it really flat, you don't have to put or glue anything to it. Just use some stencils and some ink. That's an option and it can still come out gorgeous. So I thought I would show you how I make these. We'll make one, maybe two. We'll see how it goes. And I'm trying to decide. I have this paper and it's from Simple Stories. And this one's Simple Vintage Weathered Garden. I like this weight of paper because it's heavier than like regular copy paper, but it's not super heavy. Now I did use a really thick, which one was it? Maybe this one and it starts to split. So if, if your paper is too heavy, when like you're really creasing it and maybe using your bone folder, which is what I used, then it starts to split. So if you have a little bit thinner paper, it doesn't do that. But you do want it sturdy enough to hold up to the gluing and any kind of decorating that you might want to do to it. So this is a perfect weight paper. So I've got this one. And I've got this one. I'm trying to decide um, which one I'm going to do. Maybe I'll do them both. But you can also draw. This is one I started last night. And it's just a plain you know, piece of paper. And I started drawing on it. I got my little mushrooms. I haven't decided if I want to continue and uh, draw something on the back. And it would be easier to do that before gluing it. So this one's just kind of hanging out, waiting to see how to finish it. The size can be any size. And I decided that I actually like the bigger size. But you know what? You can make them whatever size you want to. <laughs> That's the beauty of it. Yeah, so, you know, there wasn't really a lot of measuring. See, that one's even bigger. This one's even bigger. Okay, let me go cut my paper and I'll be back. Before I go, I think I changed my mind. I just found another one, and it looks like it's from the same collection, Simple Vintage Weathered Garden, but this one is called Sweet Moments, and I think I really like that better. Here is the other side, but I think I'm going to use this side, so I'll be right back. All right, here I'm back, and I cut this to about five and a quarter by just shy of eight and a half. Here is how to make it. I fold it till it's just about a quarter of an inch shy. Which side you leave the quarter of an inch is up to you, but I'll tell you how I like to do it. I like to have the fold being on the top side when I'm making my pocket. So the side that gets folded down will be on top. So since this paper is this side up, and I want the folded to be on the top, I'm going to fold this way. Okay, so I'm going to leave just about a quarter of an inch, go as straight as I can, and there we go. 
doesn't have to be exactly a quarter of an inch. I just like to leave enough to where I know I can put my glue on and it will be securely glued. Get my bone folder. See if we can get a nice crisp edge. Okay. If you have a scoring tool, then this is a good chance to use that. But if you don't, or like me, if you do and just don't feel like getting it out, you can always just put something down. Or you know what? Not even. I did several without even using anything. And just use the lip of the paper as my guide. Okay, and I just push down. Okay. And again, if your paper is too thin, you won't have a, a strong enough lip to be able to do this. Okay. There we go. And there, I'm just going to fold it over. Give it a nice push down. All right. And see, and there we go. So that matches up. And this is going to be my front. I'll show you why I like to do it this way. Because the next thing I'm going to do is cut the opening. You can do whatever style you want. You could go get a hole punch, right? Because we do that a lot in crafting. But I thought I would do something a little more fancy with a little more flair. Now this was an early one I did, as was this. It comes down and then comes back up just to give a fancy little edge. And then I started getting even more fancy. <laughs> There's a fairly simple way to do this and I'm going to show you that now. So we have our paper, we've creased it, and it's folded over with the fold on the top. What I'm going to do is take this top piece with the fold and I'm going to bend it to where it lines up with the middle crease of the paper. Okay, and then I'm going to hold it. And then I'm going to get my scissors, which would have been helpful if I had already gotten them. <laughs> okay, but here we go. That's still there. And I just kind of give it just a little pinch. I don't want to crease it too hard, but it just makes sure that the paper is not going to adjust on me. And then, I come to the edge with my scissors and give it whatever shape I want. So let's see, I'm going to go down. Okay, now I'm going to go back up and maybe I'll end with the point. Okay. And when you open it back up, there you go. Now, this one, I didn't go very far down. You might go, oh, well, that's, that doesn't leave a nice big opening like this one. See, it's an opening, but this is a lot farther. That's fine. Go do it again. So here we are. You've already got our fold, so you know where to place it. Okay. And I'll just go deeper. So we start here, and we'll go down. We'll come back up and we'll go to the point. There. That's better. And that way the folded side is cut and it's flush so you don't have to worry about it sticking out right here. If it does, you can always come in with some scissors and, and trim it to where it doesn't show. But doing it this way, it already matches up perfectly, and I know I have a spot to glue that goes all the way up to the top, and it's going to glue down and be secured. Now before I glue, you know I'm an inker, so <laughs> I'm going to get my ink pad out, and I'm just going to go around it real quick. Uh, it is so much easier to do this part before you glue. You can do it afterwards, because I tell you, you have room, you can, you know, you can always pull it out like this and get in there. But if you think about it, go ahead and add your ink before you glue it and just save yourself a lot of trouble. Okay, it's all inked. Now we just have to glue it. 
I'm going to use my art glitter glue because I know that gives me a really secure bond. But go ahead and use your go-to glue, whatever glue you like to use. I'm going to put some on the flap. All right? And then I put some on not this side, but this side. Does it matter? I'm not sure. <laughs> But, I don't know, it just kind of got weird because of this part. I didn't want it to glue down to the bottom. I wanted to make sure that whatever I stuck in there could go all the way down. So, I put the glue over here. And then, just push it down. And there you go. You're done. <laughs> That's your pocket. It looks really cute. And it was super easy to make. So you can just leave it like this because it's gorgeous. We, we use pretty paper or you could decorate it. The first thing I noticed though is I need to ink this side. <laughs> so there we go. It's looking a little off. But now we're good. So I'm going to decorate this one. It turns out that the Simple Vintage Weathered Garden, that collection came with a sticker sheet, which is awesome. And I found a little flower, it's a daisy, that I thought would just look so cute right there. This just looks kind of dainty to me. I don't know. And the daisy just, it just works for me. <laughs> I do think I'm going to put just a little bit of ink around the edges so that you can see it. I want to make sure that it pops enough to not be overlooked. Just enough to say, hey, I'm here. Okay. Oops, I didn't mean to get all that down there. There we are. I think that makes it stand out just a little bit more. What I've decided to use is this one that says the little things. And I just thought that was really cute. I'm gonna put it right about here. But I do want to put something under it. Is that too dark? I think that might be too dark. I'm sure I have some white cheesecloth somewhere. Didn't need all this. I went to get it and I came back and saw I already had a piece on my desk. <laughs> this should do just fine. There, now. Maybe I'll go ahead and stick it on. Maybe I'll go ahead and glue down my flowers as well. So I know exactly how much space I have to work with. Jeez, I'm kind of all over the place, aren't I? Sorry. <laughs> Can't decide what to do first. Oh, some days my brain does that. Oh, that's so cute. I'm gonna get some parchment paper. I'll peel off my sticker. Let's see. Is that too much extra? I might take some off here. Okay. All right, maybe a little bit off the bottom. A little bit of glue. Uh, gently. <laughs> and okay. And there you go. Oh, that's so cute. I really like how that turned out. Let's do another one. All right, this one, we're going to take it up a notch and we're going to make a double pocket. And here's how you do that. First, you just need to find your center. So you are going to fold it in half. There we go. This piece of paper is about five and a quarter by 12. Both sides are going to end up folding into the center. I still want the lip. I mean, you can do it without the lip. You could just put a line of glue on the edge and then just glue it, uh, you know, and be done. But I do, I do still want the little lip. So that's going to shorten it a little bit. Now I probably won't do a quarter of an inch. The lip will be smaller than that because I don't, I don't have as much to work with. And I want my pocket to be as big as it can be. I'm gonna take my little ruler and maybe just do closer to an eighth of an inch. This is a pretty thick point. Let me see if I can find my stylist. 
I almost couldn't find it. It's because I cleaned up. <laughs> I cleaned now. I can't find anything. All right, that side's pretty big as well. Let's go for this one. want to make sure I can bend it okay I can bend it and it's not ripping so that tells me the pressure I used was good let's do the same thing on this side yeah this is um, not a big lip so you know you need to make sure that whatever glue you're using to hold it down you are really confident in <laughs> You're confident in your glue. Because, <laughs> yeah, it does not have a lot of surface to work with this time. Okay. Looks like this side was a little thinner. That means this pocket will probably be a little bigger, but that's okay. All right. I don't know that it matters if there's a top or a bottom. So let's push this in. Since I want it to be able to close, I'm not going to go all the way up to the very edge of my middle score. Okay, I want to give a little bit of room. Here is where it's bending. And I've got my line just oh, about a centimeter maybe. It's tiny. And then I'm going to push it down. So this is going to be a small pocket, especially compared to the one I just made just under three inches. So yeah, not even quite three inches, but that's okay. All right, so that's one side. Let's do the other. And I'll tell you what, just to make it easier so, to, for you and me to see, I'll go ahead and ink that center line. Okay. So now you can see it. So here is where I folded the first one. See, is just a little bit. Just enough so that it will close. So I want to do the same thing with this one. I'm gonna bring it in to where it looks, just to eyeball it, about the same distance away from the center as I did the first one. That's good. There, okay. Since this one's a little complicated, you might want to use your hole punch here, and that's perfectly fine. I'm going to risk it. All right, let's see how it goes. So this is going to be the front. So I'm going to fold it over. Maybe I'll use the smaller scissors for this one. And we'll just go start up at the top and go down and across. There we go. And we'll see if we can't mirror that on this side. Now this one I'm probably going to have to do the opposite way. So I'm going to start in the middle and then end up at the corner. I can't remember how deep it went. <laughs> I'm going to start in the middle and I'm going to go. And this is part where it gets tricky. Gonna go. Oh gosh, let's see how we did. Ah, okay, yeah. <laughs> so that one's not quite as nice as this one, but I want to see if I can fix it. So I wonder if I can put them together because I just thought of that right now, and that might have been the best way to do it in the first place. To mirror that one exactly. Huh. Yeah, I probably should have done that. So if I line them up, they're really pretty close. <laughs> they really are. Yeah, this one's just not quite as smooth. Hmm. They're too close and there's not enough pieces sticking out and I don't want to cut into the other one because it does look pretty good. So I'm just going to go in and just try to smooth it. I, it's all inked. Now, I just need to glue. I'm gonna push it down 
and just wipe off that extra glue. Now it's glued. I'm going to go ahead and ink in some places where I did not ink earlier. All right, there we have our double pocket. Let's see if these fit in. Oh, they do. Okay, I've made these for a different one. Fits in there. Let's see, this one might be the smaller one. Oh, it fits in there too. Oh, good. <laughs> Yay. So there you go. That's a double pocket that is just so cute. It wasn't hard. It really took no time. And you can make this ahead of time when you're making your journal. You can sew in. Or, I tell you what, maybe you can take it and put it in your journal. like this okay to where it opens up or you could do it the other way it doesn't have to close in right you could fold it the other way and have it like this and have a pocket on each side just a little bit of glue on each side just enough to hold it down unless you want it to be able to open you could always just fold it and attach it with a paper clip you could do lots of things with these so there you go. Those are the two that we made. I think they came out great. This one's so busy that I'm not going to bother trying to decorate it. It's just, it's just gorgeous on its own. Whenever I actually use it in something, I may decide to add a little flourish or do something to it then. But for now, I'm going to leave it alone and just let the paper do the work for me. <laughs> So that's our project today. If you are still with me, thank you so much. I appreciate you watching all of the way through. If you like the video, then I would appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. And hey, if you watched a few of my videos and you're kind of digging the content, then hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. It tells the YouTube algorithm that you enjoy the content and it helps promote my channel by promoting the video. All right, thanks so much for joining me. Give this a try and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.